This is why scientists can only measure light, cannot measure darkness. They chose darkness over the light. They rejected Christ. Do not be shocked. Why are you in darkness? This is what you chose. So what did I do? I said to God, as they do in basketball time. This is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen that they have been done in God. So what is the judgment, condemnation, in other words, judgment? The light has come into the world, but men or people chose darkness over the light. They preferred darkness over the light because their deeds were of evil origin. They didn't want to come to the light lest their evil deeds being exposed. So what did they do? Instead of acknowledging the light, they rejected the light for one simple reason. They were not willing to give up their personal pleasures for the sake of Christ. And so many people are doing exactly the same thing in our time and age. The issue is, it is us, not the Lord. The light came to the world. Now, who is this light that came to the world? The sun, S-O-N, who is the S-U-N of the world. The S-O-N, the beloved only son of, the, of his heavenly father, came into the world to be the S-U-N of the world. But the people who were living for the world, they chose darkness over the light. They rejected Christ because they realized if we accept Jesus, that means we have to change and we are unwilling to change, We're not willing. To accept the Lord Jesus, you need to stop going to the club and coming to the church. I'm not ready. To accept the Lord Jesus, you need to humble yourself before others. I'm not ready. To accept the Lord Jesus, you need to forgive others who have hurt you. I am not ready. I'm not. To accept the Lord Jesus, I need to give up on the things I love, which God despises, and I am not ready. So what did I do? I said to God, as they do in basketball, time out. Not ready for you yet. But the problem is, the light moves. This is why scientists can only measure light, cannot measure darkness. Because ma darkness does not exist. It's not a creative thing. God created the light, not darkness. That's why the light can only be measured. Darkness cannot because it is an uncreated thing. So when the light moves, and if we don't catch up with it, if we don't move with it, we'll remain in darkness. And what is darkness? The absence of light. The light passed me by and, and said hello. I didn't say hello back, he moved on. He continued moving. And as the light moved, I stopped. I did not follow the light. When I stopped, the light passed me by. When the light left, what was remaining? Darkness. Darkness. I heard the voice saying to me, come to church. And then another voice called me and said, you wanna go out? One voice said, come to the church. The other one said, let's go to the club. One voice said to me, let's go to Christ. The other one said, let's go to Satan. One voice said to me, let's go uptown. The other one said, let's go downtown. Whichever voice I chose to follow, that's where I will end up being. I choose the voice that leads to light. I will live in the light. And if I choose the voice that leads to darkness, do not be shocked. Why are you in darkness? This is what you chose, my dear son, my dear daughter. Do not be shown. And then when we ended up in darkness, we came back and blamed God. Why did you do this to me? Amazing. The light came into the world. People of the world chose darkness over the light because their deeds were evil. Christ is the light of the world. And what is this light? Life. What is this light? Life. Now, since light is life, then what is darkness? Death. And what is death, biblically speaking? separation from God. 
You see, when the spirit separates the body, that's called transition. It's not death, departure. And who departs? The living, not the dead. The dead cannot depart, meaning cannot travel. Who travels? Those who are living. Who goes to the airport? The living ones, not the dead ones. So when you traveling, what are you doing? You are departing from one place to another. When the spirit leaves the body, that is departure. You are alive, you're not dead. So those who think, those souls who left this world into the next and refer to them as dead, excuse me, who travels? The dead or the living? Do you know who's the dead one? The ones are, who are remaining on earth. They are the dead ones. The one who left are the living ones. You know why? Because the one who left will sin no more. And the wages of sin is death. So who is sinning? The one who is remaining on earth, still living in this flesh. But what is the true death? When the spirit departs from God, separates from God. Now this is the eternal death. Light came into the world and the people of the world chose darkness over the light because their deeds were of evil origin. When they chose darkness, they chose death over life. Now, what is light, biblically speaking? Knowledge. The Lord says, the eye is the lamp to the body. And when you read throughout the Holy Bible, and more so in Genesis, talks about the cherubims, which are the highest rank in the angelic order, the highest rank in the angelic order, the cherubims are full of eyes inside and out, inwardly and outwardly. The eye in the Bible represents knowledge and the eye is the light to this body. Therefore, light represents knowledge. So life, in order to be gained, first we need to know. In John 17:3. The Lord Jesus is talking. John 17, 3. The Lord says, And this is the eternal life, that they may know you, that you are God alone, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So how do we gain eternal life? By knowing God and Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So in order to gain life, I need to know. And in order to gain death, I also need to know. You see, there is one kind of knowledge that leads to death and one kind of knowledge that leads to life. It is up to us which kind of knowledge we choose to accept. The knowledge of the world definitely leads to darkness. And darkness is death, evil. Where will we end up with Satan? in hell total separation from the almighty god this is eternal death and there is another knowledge to get to know god and jesus christ who was sent by god the father when you come to know jesus christ you are coming to know the light of the world because he is the light of the world so when you come to know the lord jesus that will lead you to his light because light is knowledge. Getting to know Him is light. That knowledge is light. When you walk in the light, you are walking in eternal life. 